got this, Ian. I got this. <laughs> and right. welcome to our Deadpool 2 <laughs> review cast with that, Jason. There you go. This, wow, look at that. He just beat us both to it. Yep. Jason, Chris, Ian, hey, yep. spoiler review. Here we Woo! go. Here we go. Uh, we were just coming right off the heels of checking this out in theaters. And, of course, our non-spoiler review, that is going to be right here on our channel if you want to check that out with uh, none of the chimichangas or, you know, any of the special sauce or whatever you want to call around it. But you want some spoilers? We're tearing right into that right here. Yeah, we're going to spoil this rotten right now. I'm going to start right here. Um, did he? Uh, does he ever actually say I'm the juggernaut, bitch? I don't think he actually does. No, he doesn't, which was my one no. great tragedy about this character, because that was my favorite part about the original X-Men movies. And I had, uh, I had heard rumors about Juggernaut yeah. uh, a long time ago, and I'm like, no way. They Really? I, it ha- I had no idea who they were going to pull. I thought they were going to pull Thanos out for some reason. Man, like, I, I, guy coming? I, I hope, oh man, that would, to, to a timeline that's already so messed up like this one is, everything that's happened, oh my gosh. Uh, when Juggernaut came up, man, I, I, I just sat up a little straighter. I'm like, are you kidding me? This is awesome. Uh, yeah, that I, I didn't, ex- I didn't expect that. Uh, I hadn't looked at anything about that beforehand and it was r- a really cool addition. It's oh, gotta God. say something. It's gotta say something about me when I think the second, the second biggest laugh I had for the whole movie was when he ripped Deadpool in <laughs> half. I just, I nearly dropped my popcorn. I was laughing so hard. I'm just like, he ripped them in half. Well, I, I just, I, I just love how he telegraphed it. So he's like, look, I'm going to rip you in half. <laughs> uh, I don't know why. My favorite thing about Juggernaut was him and the kid walking up there having this, like, totally normal conversation. He's like, so you wear a metal helmet so your brother won't read your mind? Yeah, but he's got a wheelchair so everything's even. Yeah. I have no idea why, but I just lost my marbles at that one. Oh my god! No, that was that was awesome. You know, I maybe this is going to be a trend. I don't know, but it seems like every you know for two Deadpool m- movies now we've they've introduced uh, a CGI character which is stolen the show. Yeah, without a yeah. doubt. Oh man, and and just. I think the funniest thing, even though you didn't have all the classic Juggernaut lines, did you did you catch uh, uh, some of the, the themes, especially at the very the very end? And I I, I laughed at this one in, in the credits with uh, the Juggernaut instead of like actual opera. If you stop and like listen to that, oh, I know it's awesome. The X Force oh. song is my new favorite. Song. Oh, that was great. <laughs> So I, I thought, hey, you know what? You missed a couple of the, the famous Juggernaut plugs, but that I'll take that. I'll take that. Yeah. That's great. Man. But no, dude, all, all over the place here. From uh, from Juggernaut is our surprise villain. Uh, really looking at where they're going to go with that, because the whole thing with Cable was kind of ambiguous from the start. We, we said this early on. You know, can't really see Cable being the guy. You know, the right, villain. Yeah. Like, like the, there's a reason he's there, but I... You know, I I don't see that playing out the whole film, and it, it of course it didn't. Um, well, and I, uh, the coming from the comics, you know, Cable and Deadpool have sort of bit, had a tenuous friendship. You know, I think uh, frenemies would be a good way to describe it. You know, there's oh yeah, they even had their own comic run at one point. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, there's been a lot of issues where they go head to head, and either Deadpool or Cable is being the main villain. Okay. So, so since we're spoiling the shit out of stuff, <laughs> the third best laugh I had was when when the X Force. <laughs> they, all oh, die. they all just get wiped. Oh it's man, such, it's so great because it's so like at that point with the helicopter and jumping out of the plane and it's, you know it's like and then they they make the X as their. <laughs> you know, flying in the sky, and it's like, yeah. oh my gosh, this is so over. And I'm thinking, why, why is this even necessary that they're doing this to catch a an armored vehicle to jump out of a plane? <laughs> it's like, and then, and then they just all start dying. Oh god, it's so Dude, great. That, that bit with the wood chipper, I just about spit out my soda when he like puked <gasps> up on Peter's arm. Oh god, that was. We fun. we we knew Peter was gonna bite it. Since since the opening trailer to this, we were just waiting to see how. Like I, I think I think Chris said it best. He said, 
look, you know, Deadpool has no. This guy is just going to get absolutely destroyed at some point. Like, <laughs> what? But troll. he's not even. He's not even trolling him though. He genuinely. Like, yeah. He's like, not oh, Peter. He was my favorite. <laughs> In fact, do you notice, by the way, he goes back in time in the after credits. He, it's only, just... he only saves yeah, Peter. Yeah, he only <laughs> saves Peter. <laughs> You're my favorite sugar bear. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Oh, my God. No, it was great. I mean, from uh, – and I think that was just one of the best scenes. And it, It's such a good poke at the team is assembled. The team goes from, for some, you know, uh, epic mission. Uh, but here, just everything completely falls apart right up front. And it has all the makings or something big and bold, and it goes the opposite way. I loved uh, uh, even Terry Crews, uh, his short role here. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Man. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, uh, we talked a bit about her in the non-spoiler, but, uh, you know, Zazie beats uh, Domino is the only one that really comes out fairly unscathed. Actually, she is the only one that really comes out unscathed in this. I can't even yeah. count Deadpool. Right. Uh, because of the way you know she bends and manipulates luck and stuff, which was just hilarious compared to what happens to everybody else. Uh, mm-hmm. and we, I think we at least expected them. Oh man, Cable's gonna ice someone here, but no, no, he, he did just weather really bad, bad uh, lines. For my money, my favorite bit was Deadpool uh, and Cable fighting over that gun, where he's like, "I love that gun. Yeah. I really <laughs> love that gun." Uh, the, oh the, man, the back and forth between. Uh, Ryan Reynolds and uh, the guy who plays Cable, whose name I can never remember. Josh Brolin. Oh, jo- Josh Brolin. Yeah. Without a doubt, my the biggest laughs I had in this movie <laughs> came out of those guys. I'll get to my number one. My number, the number one thing I laughed about later on, um, or or if it comes up naturally, um, was that the legit current X Men crew? It was, was was that them? Yeah, yeah, I, them. I, I mean, it was so quick. Was uh, was McAvoy in there? Yeah, he yes, was. He was he in was. the chair too, and he had the shaved head and everything. He was. Oh my god! Yeah, <laughs> I love that. And you know, God, that 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 scene was just so fitting, not just for this film, but was just so symbolic. Like, look, please, please, leave leave X Men out of this. Look, you've seen some of these movies. We we don't want to be part of that. We're just gonna go over here. Oh man, you know I mean, it's so great. I, I mean, even the, the character of Colossus just you know laying down yeah. with the X Men hour and how great it was like. No, we're not even fucking with Deadpool. Just shut that door. <laughs> oh, yeah. He didn't see us. We're lucky. Oh, oh man, man. The, uh, the bit with Deadpool holding like the phone boombox out the at uh, the window. Yeah, oh, mm-hmm. supposed to get Colossus. So what you know, not, not to get too serious, but I guess we need to a little bit because this does bring up an interesting question. Because X Force is next. Yes, it's not. It's not Deadpool three. It's X Force. Yeah. Um, they already killed half of them. <laughs> so what do you what are you gonna do? like? Some of those characters were legit X Force characters. And Shatterstar is yeah. infamous. Famous yeah. or infamous, depending on where you're sitting. I mean, he is he he is like you know when you think '90s comics, he's one of the you know bigger characters that you think of. He just he he embodies '90s comics so perfectly, along with X Force in general. Um, he doesn't embody in anything anymore. <laughs> uh, I think the lead into that the line is, and I would love if this is how it started, if. Deadpool did indeed give Peter's email to Domino. And if Peter emails Domino about starting the team back together or, or just doing just something random like that. I mean, I, I the fact that Peter is alive again leads just leads to him somehow, I think, being in that mix or at least being involved with like starting the group again, whatever it is. But I, I think he's just he's he'd be a hilarious part of it. Yeah, I I don't know. It's it's going to be interesting because you know we talked about this on on our weekly show. They have they have to be careful, and I think overall why I think this isn't just going to land like the first one did for most people is just because all right, you know this is this this shtick is great, but this shtick is going to get old. Yeah. And I think that's why the next one's X Force and not Deadpool three because right. they need to branch out at this point. And I, and now that being said, the the groundwork, the foundation they've laid here. With uh, with Cable and Domino 
Um, and, and maybe even Fire Fist. Maybe we're going to see more of him. Is he an actual X Men? Does he actually come from the comics? You know what? You guys talk. I'm going to look that one up now. Yeah, I have no idea. Um, it was. It was. Uh, he he was an interesting character. Uh, yeah, especially just the way he acted and the way he talked reminded me uh, a lot of some of the more spoiled children I've known in my life. <laughs> Uh, which was fun because you know, um, uh, the, yeah. the 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 cracks I think were especially the jokes in the movie, um, you know, uh, were made on a, a very timely basis. Surprisingly, right, right. so. Uh, I I will just say this: uh, he he is an actual X Men. He's an go. actual mutant from the comics. Uh, that's all I'll say at the moment. Go ahead. Um, the the dubstep. Yeah. Oh jeez, that I don't know if either of you know what that song is, but it's Not, uh no. B- I don't know that song specifically, but yeah, yeah dubstep. Bangarang by Skrillex. Oh, and Bangarang, of course. Beautiful choice. <laughs> no, that's a that's a classic. I I'm I'm an electronica fan. Uh, I can't say uh dubstep particularly, but I I should have known that one. So Yeah, uh Good on you. Yeah, like the, it was. It was fun to see how relevant the jokes were, not just to you know older audiences, and I'm including you guys in there, even though you're not that old. But you're old enough to remember like '90s comics and stuff like that. Oh, yeah. Whereas you know, I'm coming in fresh faced. I was born in '95, so the whole '90s comics, X Men stuff, sort of passed me over. Right. You know, I discovered all of this as you know a, a younger adult. So a yeah. lot of these jokes. As as a young adult living in the the millennial generation, yeah. the jokes were fantastic. Yeah, I've I've got a, a sort of uh, compliment and criticism layered in one here, and it centers around sort of Cable's whole mission on Fire Fist. You know, he Cable's always been more of a larger picture, grand sum, you know, kind of fella. He he isn't he doesn't get too flustered with the the, the small details or you know like here he thought um Deadpool's attempt to correct to somehow reform him before he could turn into a monster in the future was, you know, ridiculous. You know, he said, just, just put a bullet in him and just, you know, call it a day. Um, but, you know, him actually, you know, doing that and actually going through that and then deciding to stay and say, you know what, I'm not going to bother hopping back to my own time yet. I want to make sure you, know, you don't screw yourselves over uh, with something I might have missed or, you know, something greater uh, shows he still got that focus now. I did find it interesting that they didn't dig a whole lot into the Teo virus. And, yeah. Into and, what? Uh, Cable's uh, cybernetic virus. Yeah. Oh, the... no, I, I think they're going to, yeah, I think they're intentionally leaving that alone. Just like, despite the fact that you're introducing Cable, you're not touching Cyclops and, uh, yeah. and anyone else. Yeah, I mean, there's there's a whole lot tangled up in that. I mean, I understand if you got to really talking about that, you'd probably have to mention, like, Phalanx and you know, all kinds of other yeah. stuff. That's, that's, not, like... that's not a can of worms. That's a whole like <laughs> swimming pool full of worms. It is. It, it, it is. Yeah. And, and I now one thing that threw me off a bit. I, I'm only saying that because there's a scene or two that that sort of at first maybe it's a pacing issue led me to believe that that was a the direction they're leaning that they are going to explore that a bit. Uh, shortly after he had arrived from the future, he sort of just getting his you know face of upset and all that stuff, and you know he's he's sort of like cringing. Like, you know, at his own yeah. body, like, you know, in the mirror and stuff. And I'm like, wait, is it getting out of control? Is there something going to be, like, more to this? Or is it, it – it's just, like, how much focus they had and then a couple of scenes, I I don't know. So Yeah, there there were uh, – that particular scene you were imagining, he was, like, brushing like, right. the, the edge of it. And I was like, oh, is this going to be a thing where, like, the virus is spreading and it's right. slowly turning him into a robot? Is right. that where this is going? Right. By the um, way, I shared a picture of Fire Fistry for you guys from uh, from Mar- the Marvel Comics. There yeah, I did see that. He looks little, very different. A little, little different. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> By the way, yeah, so I'm expecting you to know this one, though, Ian. Yeah. Who's, uh, who, who's that new uh, X-Men chick? Uh, Negasonic Teenage Warhead's girlfriend. Who is that? Oh, uh, what was uh, it? Uh, uh, Kumiko? Right? Kumiko, yeah. Kumiko? Or was it Yukine? No. Yeah, but you don't know her name. No, like what, her super like superhero name? name? Uh-uh. No, but she was my fiance's favorite character. Well, Deadpool's right; she's adorable. Yeah, <laughs> yeah she is. No, I 
I want you to know that after I walked out of the theater, uh, my fiance Abby thought it would be funny to just on the drive home just periodically wave at me and say hi, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> that whole interplay, that whole interplay between them was great. But oh yeah. Oh man. Well, you guys keep talking about stuff. I'll find. No. But um. Okay. Uh, the pacing. You want to get to the pacing? Yeah, I, I that, that that. You guys can do whatever you want. I mean, we're in yeah. spoilers. Just keep spoiling <laughs> shit. That was my big complaint. Was the pacing? Like, it felt like too many yeah. things were trying to be crammed into this movie. You yeah. know, they uh, they go from uh, uh, the death of uh, Deadpool's girlfriend, right? Um, you know, and yeah, that was a great setup and a great follow through. And then he goes to the X Men. And he's right. like the trainee, and that whole scene was setting up Fire Fist. All right, um, <laughs> and then they go to jail, and I'm like, all right. Yeah. So how how are they going to get out of this one? Yeah. Um, yeah, you know, especially with the collars, I'm like, how are they going to get the collars off? Yada yada. Um, Deadpool's a dick to the kid. Like, yeah. Everything through and through and through. I'm like, all right. So how are they going to circle this around? And then it's just a jump after the prison. Right. Right. Yeah. You know, and all of a sudden, he's back making a team with T.J. Miller. I think it's because, you know, towards the start of this, it's something that you normally don't have. Someone who is so uh, aimless, but so focused on his job, the job at hand. You know, Deadpool just sort of, you know, look, this is what I'm out to do, and it's done. He, this is not someone who has moral crises or a bunch of, you know, inner conflicts or, you know, mopes around Silver Surfer style trying to make up his mind about something you know he does and he really runs into you know a, a genuine you know crisis here he very early on in the film you know the thing the, the person that he loves most just snatched away from him and he doesn't really know what to do with that and i think he's his presence is just so impressed on, on this film that, that that drags into into everything it, it, it really affects you know the, the the entire pacing because he has really nothing that you know he wants to even move forward himself at that point till uh, he decides that uh, Fire Fist is worth defending. So okay, so yeah. so this movie is trolling us even more. Uh, <laughs> y- Yokio, um, Yokio, I believe is how they pronounced this character is also the character, is, as far as I can tell, although completely different in their portrayal mm-hmm. and even their even their mutant abilities. Right. This is the same character that is from the, the Wolverine. X twenty three. No, 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 not Logan. Well, the Wolverine. The oh, her, one. I'm with you now. I, yeah, yeah, I'm with you. I'm with you. I would not have guessed they were the same people at all. No. But apparently, I apparently they are. That's weird. Wow. Uh, and it's not the same actress either. But right. They right. have the same name. Uh, you know, I so I don't know. I, I mean, I'll check again. Either way, neither of those portrayals look very much from what I see of these images from the comic. Um, right. Either way, uh, yeah, she was adorable. Right. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, um, you know, uh, the the bit with J- um, Juggernaut. Yeah. 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 Just just re- that's, just revealing that's dude, who that's all there. you guys gotta say. Juggernaut. That's all you yeah. need. <laughs> the juggernaut, bitch. Yeah, the, that first fight with Juggernaut was probably, I think, the best fight in the movie. Uh, Colossus. Like, I loved it. Or, I loved no. it when he said, "I'm going to take the red one. And I'm going to shove him up the old one's ass." <laughs> of course you did. Uh, what do you mean? Of course I did. What? It's uh, Chris. Yeah, yeah, that's a Chris line. You, you tell Classic. Me you Chris. Laugh at that. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's not my biggest laugh of the night. I didn't say it was my biggest laugh. In fact, I've told you what my second and third are. I haven't told you my number one. So oh, I'm going to guess. All right. I'm going to tell you what your number one is. Your number one yeah. is when he went back to Wolverine Origins and he shot that Deadpool in the head. you damn right it was. Yep. <laughs> that was so great. <laughs> it just the way the play, just the whole way it was played out. That, oh, it, God. More than anything else, just how it was played out. It was, just, it was perfect. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, no, no scratches. I'm just fixing the timeline. <laughs> and then he shoots him 10 more times. <laughs> Oh man! Oh man! Yeah, I was I was a little disappointed that we uh, we didn't see as much of like Colossus or Sonic or the uh, the other right. X Men. Like it was definitely an X Factor movie, but I was a little disappointed. X Force, X Force, 
X Force movie, but I was a little disappointed that we didn't get to see more of them because they were some of my favorite characters from the first one. Oh God, uh, Negasonic, whatever her name is, just that sarcastic yeah. personality. Oh God, I love that. The yeah, we... the ripping between her and Wade in the first one probably one of some of my favorite parts. I, you know, I have to I have to half agree with you. Um, when it comes to Negasonic Teenage Warhead, yes, I I agree. Not enough of her, but I would say we got I, just the perfect amount of Colossus and definitely more. Yeah. Yeah, all right, I can see that there. Especially with him sort of trying to be this, like, father figure. Like, you know, Negasonic was the, the trainee in the first movie. And she sort of, you know, moved up a little bit. And Colossus is here trying to make Deadpool the trainee. But, you know, he he just steps all over this from the very beginning. You know, him spinning around in Xavier's chair, you know, grabbing Cerebro, uh, just totally making a joke out of uh, a lot of what the X-Men stand for, you know, when they, you know, come in the, uh, the black wing and, and all that stuff. It's, it, he's just the complete antithesis of what like Colossus would like to see him reform into. And he, he even goes as far as saying, look, man, I'm sticking my neck out for you. You know, like it's already bad enough, like trying to convince others to even bring you here in the first place. But, you know, I tried anyway. Uh, so that, that was kind of fun to see. And at the end, he sort of realizes like, look, I'm not, I'm not changing this guy, but, you know, at least I can do is give him a hand. So, yeah, uh, no, super, super, super fun, and 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 their interplay, and then of course, Glasses V Juggernaut's awesome. So. Oh yeah, that was a great fight. Yeah, yeah, no, and and again, I loved that. That being said, I would have loved it if it would have been the CGI would have been on par with Hulk versus Thanos from an Infinity War, which was awesome. Even more yeah. awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Right, and, and the only reason it was more awesome was because it looked, I mean, that looked fucking real. Yeah. It just, it looked dead real. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, and that's, you know, and again, coming from that to this, and it still looked good, and it was still awesome to see, especially because Juggernaut was just, you know, when it, the last time they'd done, um, I guess you could say in the previous iteration of Juggernaut and Colossus, they just didn't look that great. And, but to see them like this and yeah. to be so close to the comics, um, it, it was great to see it. Yeah. Yeah. No, it was it was very exciting. I love the fact that his helmet, you know, instead of having the like, the, the ruby armor, he just had the prison jumper and like a metal <laughs> collage. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. And I was uh, I was kind of worried about that at first. I'm like, you know, are they gonna are they gonna try to do something with trying to you know like pry his helmet away because there's no like armor to worry about? But no, uh, I think even down in the way they took him out was great. Well, they oh, even yeah. teased they teased that though. They did. They did. They Deadpool, I think, even tries at one point. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think um, it was, uh, the, his katana's under. The yeah, the yeah. the katanas get stuck, and then uh, he. Uh, juggernaut just like shakes them off. So yeah, um, let's see. No, I think uh, yeah, no, I I knew I had one more thing. I lost my train of thought. Yeah, no, 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 no. Um, uh, Vanessa dying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was that was shocking. I didn't think they were going to yeah. do that because there's a whole storyline right there by itself because she's a mutant as well. Yeah, although they they have not um, preluded it preluded to it at all in the movies. This is right. Really, she's a mutant. Yeah, a uh, copycat. You're, you're right. You're blowing my mind here. Yeah, she is. She is a copycat. She change. She can change her appearance. And now oh. it's it's funny. They can still go a lot of directions with this because, like you said, they've been. Really, really ambiguous. You, you've had some pokes at, you know, the the actual character, the power set and stuff, but nothing like direct and literal. I mean, she she hasn't been running around, you know, pulling a mystique or anything, you know, for the last <laughs> last two films now. Uh, yeah. But but sort of le leaving leaving that open ended uh, is something that I I wonder. I'm like, do they actually want to follow it up in X Force? Like, are they? No. Maybe yeah. maybe an, maybe an X Factor, Jason. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> That's yeah, I don't X know. Thing. I mean, geez, that really takes you know it, for her to not really be dead. Really, I think it would take away a lot yeah. from the story, though. I, it would really cheapen this film. It I would. Think. Yeah, it and would. that's that's sort of what I was uh, about to put forward to you. Whether we think that the after credit scenes are actually canon or just the movie having a bit of fun at the audience's expense. Well, right. they, I mean, yeah. Um, 
Yeah, that's that's true. I, like much as I would love to see Peter come back, I don't think they're gonna pick and choose. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, I, 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 yeah. I think uh, I, I don't think there's much more to say. I think people need to go see this. Yeah. Oh, no, that's not true. That's not true. Everyone, let us know what you have to say. Comment below if you could. Let us know what you thought of the movie. Was this better than the first one? Uh, or on par, or was it not? And why do you feel the way that you did? Yeah. And don't forget to like and subscribe. That's the thing too. That <laughs> if you could do that, we hey. would appreciate it. Yeah, we want to keep cranking out uh, not only our reviews and the regular shows, and uh, of course our let's plays are going to be uh, to come. But hey, you know that's something that helps us uh, move this channel in a bigger, greater direction and keep boosting up that quality of content. So, all right. Oh. Well, before before we go, before we go. Yep. 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 Ian, can you say fuck for me? <laughs> You're going to do it again. You're going to do it again. Just once. Oh, damn it. There. Oh. <laughs> no. I think you might still go to hell. <laughs> I think we're all headed that way, Chris. <laughs> oh, Lord. Well, then, Jason, you say fuck. All right. I, all right, I say fuck <laughs> both you guys. Fuck! <laughs> <says. laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I tried. Right. I just I can't get it out, man. All right, you can stop. I just don't see anything more. Thank you. Thank you all for tuning in. Take it easy. Have a good one. Hey, people. Thank you for tuning into this episode and taking a listen. Uh, if you like our content, if you like what you're listening to, if there's anything to go over, hey, please, we would not only love to hear more from you, but if great, you could throw some support. You can subscribe right below. Also, you can toss us a line anytime. That's caseonmedia at gmail.com. Uh, of course, you can tune in for our channel anytime for movie reviews, game reviews, uh, a lot of random wacky stuff. Yet, who knows what you'll hear. And of course, our, our episode each week where we're bringing the nerdiest things we can find, dig up, and uh, maybe not find. Maybe the stuff that just drops in our laps. But uh, anyway, hey, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for listening. We hope to hear from you again later. Take care. <laughs>